Kick-Ass Facts, a very brief and woefully incomplete history of Santa Claus. Ba -bew -bew -bew! Ho, ho, ho. The modern figure of Santa is based on folklore surrounding St. Nicholas, the English figure of Father Christmas, and the Dutch figure of Sinterklaas. St. Nicholas was a 4th century Greek Christian bishop of Myra, Myra in modern-day Turkey. He was known for his generous gifts to the poor, in particular presenting three impoverished daughters of a pious Christian man with dowries so they would not have to become prostitutes. Much obliged, I'm sure. He was a very religious man from an early age and devoted his entire life to Christianity. During the Middle Ages, often on the eve before his name day of December 6th, children were bestowed with gifts in his honor. This date was earlier than the original day of the gifts for children, which moved in the course of Reformation and its opposition to the veneration of saints in many countries on 24th and 25th of December. In the Netherlands and Belgium, the character of Santa Claus competes with that of Sinterklaas, patron saint of children, based on St. Nicholas. Sinterklaas remains the predominant gift giver in December. 36% of the Dutch only give presents on Sinterklaas evening, on, or the day itself, December 6th, while Christmas, December 25th, is used by another 21% to give presents, and around 26% of the Dutch population give presents on both days. Father Christmas dates back as far as the 16th century in England during the reign of Henry VIII, when he was pictured as a large man in a green or scarlet robe lined with fur. As England no longer kept the feast day of St. Nicholas on December 6th, the Father Christmas celebration was moved to December 25th to coincide with Christmas Day. This is how Santa is generally depicted. This image originated in North America during the 19th century and has been maintained and reinforced through song, radio, television, children's books, family Christmas traditions, films, and advertising. In 1821, the book A New Year's Present to the Little Ones from 5 to 12 was published in New York. It contained Old Santa Claus with Much Delight, an anonymous poem describing Santa Claus on a reindeer sleigh, bringing rewards to children. Some modern ideas of Santa Claus seemingly became canon after the anonymous publication of the poem A Visit from St. Nicholas, better known today as The Night Before Christmas. By 1845, Kris Kringle was a common variant of Santa in parts of the United States. A magazine article from 1853 describing American Christmas customs to British readers refers to children hanging up their stockings on Christmas Eve as a fabulous personage whose name varies. In Pennsylvania, he is usually called Kris, Kris, Kris Kinkle, but in New York, he is St. Nicholas or Santa Claus. One of the artists who was the first to define Santa Claus's modern image was Thomas Nast, an American cartoonist from the 19th century who immortalized Santa Claus with an illustration for the January 3rd, 1863 edition of Harper's Weekly, in which Santa was dressed in an American flag and had a puppet with the name Jeff written on it, reflecting its Civil War context. In this drawing, Santa is also in a sleigh pulled by reindeers. L. Frank Baum's, or Baum, depends where you're from, I guess, the Life and Adventures of Santa Claus is a children's book published in 1902. Much of Santa Claus's mythos was not firmly established at the time, leaving him to give his Nicklaus a variety of immortal support, a home in Laughing Valley of Ho-Ha-Ho -Ho and ten reindeer who could not fly but left an enormous flight-like balance. In 1937, Charles W. Howard, who played Santa Claus in department stores and parades, established the Charles W. Howard Santa School, the oldest continually run Santa school in the world. The practice of mall Santas has been credited to James Edgar. He started doing this in 1890 in his Brockton, Massachusetts department store. Having a Santa actor set up to take pictures with children is a ritual that dates back to at least 1918. Here's me in 1975, I'm guessing, with Santa. Not loving it. Don't worry, though. Several years later, I still hated it. Whatever you celebrate, celebrate with people you love. Happy Holidays.